So you never had the, the, the normal aspirations of a kid who played ball. Everybody wants to go to the NBA. What did you want to do with your life? Honestly, man, I didn't have any plans. I just was, I just was out here. Like, so I think when the, when the sports came, it kind of gave me, it gave me goals. Like it gave me goals and it helped me see um, another side of myself. Like I didn't even really know it was there. So, you know, I'm glad, I'm glad it happened. You know, it's, it's interesting that you said you were just out here. And that's uh, one of the big reasons that I wanted to bring you on the show today, because so many people they're just out here. They don't have plans. They want something more out of life. They just don't know what it is. So, to, you know, I love to go into to my guest backstory because not everybody is laser focused and they have this dream from day one and they know what they want to do with their life. Some people pick it up later, but they've always had a work ethic. It's just, I don't know what to, to put my work, my work ethic toward. So I'm glad that you pointed that out. What'd you major in? My major was uh, sociology, and then my um, I went to grad school. Grad school, it was uh, sports management. So you went to grad school? Yeah. Oh, nice, nice. Good for you. So you graduate. Now you have a, a, a bachelor's and a master's degree. What are you doing with your life? You go into the workforce, I'm assuming. What are you doing? <sighs> All right, so my first job out of school I was working in like a mail, it was like a mail room, just sorting out mail. Um, this was like in Niagara Falls when I, cause I went back there, uh, cause I had a daughter out there. I went back out there, stayed out there for a while. I did the mail thing for a couple of months and then I saved up money and then we moved over to Philly. Um, and then Philly, I, I did a little marketing, but for the, for the most part, I was working with, um, I got my, I got my real job, like working with kids and, you know, doing that type of thing. And you was doing that in Philly when you got back home. Yeah, so I, I did. I did the marketing. I did marketing for a while, which is I learned a lot of skills doing marketing. Um, this is how, how it really helped me like down the line when I started doing like my own you know business stuff. But um, yeah, I did the marketing for a while for a sports for a sports company. Um, over here it was like a startup company. It didn't last too long. Um, and then after that, I got into working with troubled youth. Like, and that's pretty much where. Was what you know what I what I did up until the point where I stopped working. You know, it's interesting. You and I got a very similar background. Obviously, um, I made my career in marketing products. Um, from started with records and went to just corporate brands, marketing anything. And um, before I did that, I worked with um, in so in, in the social work field, um, working with adolescents and troubled youth. So we get, we get definitely got a lot in common. Yeah, yeah, that's a, that's a job right there, man. Social workers. That's whew, it's a lot. Yeah, you got to have your heart in that one. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot. Yeah. Um, are you still playing ball in your spare time? Or, you know, you're out of school, you're working, you're taking care of your daughter, you're taking care of your family, and you just say, you know what, sports is a thing of the past and I'm done. Or did you do it just for kind of physical activity? All right, so it was like – so when I stopped, I stopped cold turkey. Like I didn't, I didn't play for like a year or some change, which is hard because I, you know, I was so programmed to playing like every day. Um, but now I do play like on my spare time, and it's mainly, it's mainly because I, I got, I had, a, I had a kids. Like you know, so I just want to be, I want to be good long enough to beat them when they. Get <laughs> and then after that, like you know, I, I don't care. But I just got to be able to beat them for some time, and then once they get to the point where they, you know, about to go to college or something, I could take, I could take a loss. But I'm not, you know, I got to stay ready until that point. <laughs> okay, tell me, you're in social work. Where does the vending machine business come into your life? Is this something that you always dreamed of? Did you know somebody who was in the business? How was it even introduced to you? So, um, so mainly when I when I was younger, you know, with the basketball thing, we had practice at recreation centers all the time. Like, so the majority of our practice was at rec, rec, rec centers. Um, my school was a new school at that time. We didn't have a gym. Mm -hmm. So all our practices and stuff were at, at different rec centers. Um, and on the weekends, we had practice at this one rec center. Um, it had a, you know, Gatorade machine in there. So on, the, on, on that day that we had practice, uh, it was a lady who will always come 
and replenish the machine. So she'll come put more Gatorades in there. It was a snack machine too, but she, I always remember her from the, remember her from the Gatorade machine because that's where I, w- I was sitting there. But she would come and put Gatorades in there and then collect the money. You know, and I'll just be sitting like right in front of her. Like, you know, when I seen like how much money she would take out every week, I was like, damn, them machines be making, making some okay money. Like, so <laughs> it was always in the back of my mind. Like, you know, I wanted one of those machines. And then, you know, as I, when I got older and started working and I was looking for, for ways to basically um, get out of work, like, you know, or at least make extra uh, additional money, like on the side of work, you know, the vending machine thing popped back into my head. And that's when I started like pursuing it. Question for you. Was any part of you ever wanting to be an entrepreneur? I would say yes, but I didn't but I didn't know what it was like. So I know, I know a, a big part of me wanted to, um, you know, work for myself, especially, especially after I had a family, I just wanted to be home more because I, I was working so much. And especially you might notice too, like if you did like, you know, to work with the kids, like it requires a lot of your time. Yes. Yep. Like, yeah. Yeah. So I, I was really like out a lot. So I, I really wanted to create an income for myself. So just so I could be home more mainly. Yeah. So. I would say it was always like in the back of my mind, but it wasn't until like later on I actually started it. Okay, so you're looking, you're, you're, you're working a full-time job and you're looking for a way to make extra income. Obviously, you could have took it, taken a second job, but I'm assuming you're thinking to yourself, I want to make more passive income, money while I sleep. Mm-hmm. Is, is that your mindset? No, not at that time. No, so really? I actually, I did, I did take on a second job. My, my mindset more so was, at that time, I was look. I, I really wanted to get into real estate. I wanted to get into flip a house, but I didn't have enough money. I didn't have any credit. I didn't even know what credit was until I graduated school. And by the time I found out what it was, my credit was already bad. Like, so it was like, yo, like what I'm going to do? And that's, you know, and I started, I started thinking of the vending machine thing. I was like, all right, I'm going to get a second job. Then I'm going to try to... um save up enough money to get a machine. I'm going to work the jobs and I'm going to take the money that I'm making from the machine, flip that money. And then to, to I get enough to actually fix my credit, get into the real estate game. And that kind of was my plan. It just didn't go that way. I mean, it did, but not as fast as I thought it would. So the vending machines was kind of a means to an end. Your ultimate end was, was real estate. Right. Right. When I started wow. that, that, yeah, I was really just trying to get into real estate, but then the machines kind of took on, a life of their own, like, and I kept going with that. Okay, so your motivation for for even um, kind of becoming an entrepreneur was family. Like, you, you, I want to spend more time with my family. You know, I got a family now. I, I'm, I'm spending a lot of time at work. I got two jobs. I got to figure something else out. Is that correct? Yeah, exactly. I just wanted to be home more, more than anything else. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.